They excuse me, say on a hide remote as I don't already tune permanent on top of this station. Welcome back. You just the general to the watch the good morning Niger show. <laughs> Welcome back. If you just the journalist, they watch the Good Morning Niger show. And our next guest, now Dr. Rebecca Achokwe Andeshi, she be social entrepreneur. She's going to discuss Igbo culture and female inheritance. Uh, you know, say so when they try to get on that time for Skype, um, but uh, before she could join us like that, we could just start off with a uh, phone call with her on top of this particular matter. And people go to wonder, say, why would they discuss this uh, issue? You get one time we say for Twitter, this thing costs serious wahala. Uh, some people in talk say, as it will culture be, say if a woman, a papa die, or even um, the husband self die for some places, um, he gets some things that will even reach the woman's hand. Now more of her brothers then go get the, the property. We make uh, sometimes when some Igbo men, um, they say they just they born only girl, they come. People they worry uh, because they go the one that say who go inherit this man property when he die, who go carry the name. Uh, people go the fear say now in brother. Uh, or in brother children, now then go take over. So now we won't even discuss this morning. Some people talk, say, no, we saw it happen for our own side. You know, say culture, uh, as much as they speak the same language, sometimes, what do you go get for this village and what do you go get for another village? Me, self, um, I go want to try and understand what they happen around that area. And you also be like, say, of course, they don't also amend that one now to ensure, say, women uh, get rights to property um, in case their um, papa died and also get rights. Um, along with their brothers, them. Uh, Dr. Rebecca, good morning. Um, it's sweet to say you join us for this show today. Hello, Dr. Rebecca. Better, Dr. Rebecca, if I do say I don't talk. Hello, Dr. Rebecca, you are live. Um, Hello, good morning. Uh, hey, okay, good morning. I can hear you now. Ah, correct. Your, your voice, sweet, well, well. We they discuss this thing around Igbo culture and um, female uh, inheritance. Um, how you take see the matter? What do you, you understand um, by this matter? Maybe we start from there. Okay, can you hear me now? I they hear you loud and clear. Your voice sweet. They talk. Okay, okay, okay. So I think a lot of importance and priority is given to the male child. And the culture here is very important that a man, before he dies, he has a male child that is going to inherit his property. So there is this, and in event, in case a man dies and he doesn't have a male child, it allows for his widow, that is his wife, the wife of his disease, to get a young lady, to marry a young lady on behalf of her husband. And when she gets married to this lady, you can also go to the community and get a young man that, is, that can impregnate the lady mm. on behalf of her late husband so that the man can have a male son. So when this young lady now gives us a male son, the child is going to bear the name of his husband and is going to enable her to cure her late husband's property. Dr. Rebecca, will they hear you? Okay. Then also, but that does not mean that if a lady has money or is influential, she can go to the community and also she can decide to acquire property on her own, with her own money. But naturally, the culture here, if a man has no children, Preferably, the male children will inherit the property because it's believed that the lady is going to get married and she's going to go to another family and get married. So she should focus on taking care of her new family and she should allow the men to take care of the properties and if any, anything should arise, okay. the men will be able to sort it out. Right. Um, but I believe... Okay. Hello? Go ahead, I hear you. Okay, I believe that nowadays this culture is probably restricted to Igbo land. But if the man has property in other parts of the country and he decides to leave it to his female children, okay, good and fine. But in the land, within the land and in Igbo land, preferably the male child 
county inherit the property. And I believe that now there is much attention should be given to empowering the female child or the girl child. So that if it's allowed for her to acquire property, then I believe that if the girl child is empowered on her own, she can acquire whatever she wants to okay. acquire or she wants to get property right. and get how um, Dr. Rebecca, before we talk about before we talk about things that even do um, for uh, women, make we discuss um, how this tradition don't affect women over time. Um, tradition where we say you go see woman where we say her, her papa gets property, he get things, uh, she can't get brothers as well. Um, sometimes you go if you say nobody say everybody, nobody say woman, nobody every woman we don't grow, we also don't get husband because then go yeah. assume say yes as woman be. Um, she go marry, she go answer another person's name, nothing consign her again with her papa. You get some families where we say even when um, the, their daughter marry, if she get a problem for her husband's house, wrong, come back, they go tell her and say, you don't get room for this house anymore. We don't already marry you, uh, come out. So make we look how this uh, tradition, they take affect women generally. We say, woman goes to say, her papa don't die. One couple, even the button of her papa's shirt, she don't go get. How you think they don't affect women over time? Okay. It has affected a lot of women sincerely, and some of them have come in contact with them. Because you have men who are well to do, and if the man dies and leaves property for the male child, they refuse to share with the female child. It has really affected a lot of them, and there are a lot of women that find themselves in such situations. But the truth is that at the end of the day, they are helpless because they are there's literally or there's really nothing they can do because this is the culture and this is what is practiced. So there's just this general acceptance and if the lady tries to insist on getting something, it's like she's a mischief maker or like she's a troublemaker. Um, but if you also look this matter very well, it gets some uh, Igbos will go also argue, say um, this particular practice, no, they really happen for all Igbo families. Um, people don't already submit now to the right will. Um, that will go cover everybody. For the will, the papa go mention, say, this person go get A, this person go get B. Go even will self put for in daughter. Uh, you also get some families when be saying, now only girls then born. And when the man die, in the right hand for will, say, so, so, so property must go to my daughters. Uh, except, say, maybe some mischievous elders then go come put hand. Say, why the girls go collect and uh, whatever. But waiting on the paper, come backed up by law. Sometimes it really go a long way to help some of these uh, people. Uh, most people also argue again, saying now families will be say where the will no day. Now dear brothers go sit down, use their own hand, share, share. They don't go remember their sister when and carry them, or their sister will be say they even help fight to protect when they're this more. Just to ask you, Dr. Rebecca, you feel say if some of these families, uh na Igbo or other culture, if you say if some of these families fit and sure say then write something for paper. Give lawyers, say, if I die, or if so, so, so happen, make my picking, get A, B, C, D. You feel that one will begin to help the issue? Okay. Yeah, it's going to help a lot. And it has really, it has really helped. Because for families that the breadwinner left a will, I think the, the girls in such families were protected. But for those families that demand in in advent of his death, there was no will. That was that is when most of this culture mm. is applicable. But if the man should leave a will and he leave it in the care of a lawyer or a reputable legal firm, it has to be a reputable legal firm that is not going to temper with his will or any stuff. Then they, they are protected and they are covered. But in in the case that the man dies, like in some cases that we, and there is no will, then they are vulnerable. They have to, the culture will have to take it to But, Dr. Rebecca, we could even look this matter one kind. Uh, make I imagine, say, na me now, uh, although say, na only one brother I get. But make I imagine, say, maybe I get up to like four brothers, and na me come be the only girl. Um, brothers, when we say, all of us don't sit down together, we don't chop, uh, we go to school together, we fight together, we play together. Uh, how you be say, um, our papa go come die, come share property? And those my same brothers go look me. Bless at that time, the love when their eye go disappear. Uh, they go just still look me, say, I don't deserve anything. 
where our papa uh, don't live behind for this life. How you they take Siam? Make people forget what in culture and tradition they talk. Uh, family themselves. If you see some families, when they reach that point, then they forget, say, blood. Now you join um, siblings as brother and sister. Or you just feel safe for them, then just feel say tradition cannot be broken. From your experience, what thing you they get? You they see where brothers they turn against sisters when you reach that point? Or have been just a, a case of, you know, tradition uh, must be followed? Okay, I think love plays a huge factor. Uh, love plays a huge factor. Because if there are some families that the brothers have provided and taken care of their sisters, but you still have some families where it's like love is not just there and mm. nobody just fears. And you can't really say more because they hide under the protection of culture. You have families where the brothers will just insist that it is their property and that they are going to be very They hide under the backing of culture. But you still have families where there's that love and you find a way to make sure that the girls are protected and they are provided for. Okay. So I think love is a very huge factor. All right, Dr. Rebecca. So then make we analyze. It get reason why I ask you. It get reason why I ask you that question. Um, most people don't go fit measure where love go day and where love no go day. Now make we talk about what governments don't do to ensure say women now go get access to inheritance. Sorry, I'm um, not hearing you very well. Can you hear me now? You they hear me now? Okay, I'm hearing you now. Uh, hey. So so you don't already talk about the issue of say sometimes love they day, love no they day. People go say na family matter, no put hand. Maybe we talk about what thing governments don't do to ensure say women, whether love day or love no day, compulsory compulsory, that is by force by force, women must get share on top of their papa property. What do you you feel? Okay, you know, funny enough, yesterday I was discussing with somebody about this law, yes. this Supreme Court judgment, and I was like, what's your opinion concerning this ruling? And he was like, implementation. Mm -hmm. That is the court going to come to the village and enforce and make sure that this law is implemented. So the truth is that it's not enough to pass the judgment, but to make sure that such judgment is implemented. You understand? Yes. And in such cases, either you, if you decide to fight for your rights, it's either you're a troublemaker and you're seen as an outsider in the family, or you just decide to let sleep in the life. So at the end of the day, it's going to help a little bit because the female child, now a lot of people will begin to get their own rights. But we still have a, we still have a long way to go with regards to implementation. Coming, is it that every female child that is described will now have to go to the law to come and enforce? So enforcement, I believe, is going to be a huge step. Mm. Now, very key. Now, very key point. You don't talk, dear um, Dr. Rebecca. Very, very key point indeed. So even though, of course, they don't already pass that uh, particular one, say yes, so make women. Um, they inherit. It seems to say who go follow them, enter village to ensure they then give. And I sure say now you make um, most um, villages now. You see, of course, not be saying what villages now. You don't they right from time when they get in they call um, public um, uh, opinion leaders. And those opinion leaders, they'll be elders. You know, say, we always know about elder for two occasions for village, when person die and when person won't marry. And then you go, no, say, how many goats? And the color of the goat when it's supposed to kill for that particular ceremony. These same people, no, they need to just chop rice, share goats, cut yam, uh, where they day for. They also day to um, also ensure, say, certain law, then when they don't pass for village, say, people go observe them. And uh, just for my own small um, you know, opinion, I feel, say, it go good. Make governments reach out to those people uh, through their local government council then to tell them, say, see the new law where they're on ground, or see what government don't talk. Oh. Now, una, now, we do una hand to ensure, say, Mazi will be... Uh, then go follow uh, and sure say if person die in daughter go get share. Um, Dr. Rebecca, just we get about one minute more to go. What's it just be your passing word on top of this issue as we go forward? Sorry, I'm not hearing you very well. I say as we just get only one minute to go. What's it be your uh, final word on top of this matter? Like you talk, you say if any woman get up to one fight this matter, they go call and troublemaker. Everybody also know the general word everybody they throw around and go say feminist, exactly. feminist. And they look people where they fight for their rights as people who know like man. Uh, for on top of this matter, what's it be your final word on top of the case? Okay, my final word to say is the responsibility of every woman to make sure that she's empowered. 
And also, I believe that our fathers should begin to empower their daughters. And it is the responsibility of parents to make sure that they provide and protect their children. So fathers should begin to make sure that they empower their girl child. Mothers should make sure that they empower their daughters. This is allowed for daughters to be able to acquire property. So if they are empowered, then I believe they are protected. All right, then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Rebecca, for that um, you know, special note where you give us for there. So don't be just to sit down and say, yes, my Pekin, uh, when I die, I don't keep about 20 goats. I don't keep about 20 chair when they for parlor for you. Uh, when you're there alive, try and say your Pekin self, get something which they do for hand. When we say, whether elders come attack them, or the love where her brothers then get for her disappear, say they see property. She go down already stand it by for ground. Say, money when they my hand, so I go take and make something out of my life. Now, Waiting, Dr. Rebecca, they talk.